when people died, so, the rules on where the graves would be uh, were all according to the feng shui. And it was um, calculated to be here based on rules of feng shui. And it's basically the concept is um, it strives to reach harmony between humans and nature, you know, the earth and the universe. Everything about feng shui is about balance and harmony. Yin and yang stands for balance and harmony. Yin is, is, is the fem often the female side, sturdiness, um, dark, and then uh, yang is the, the male side, uh, fluid, light. The, the back of the grave is towards S the mountain. You supported. Can see, you can see it's supported, it's rigid, strong, and the fluidity comes from the creek that you see down below. So there's a, there's the water bind with the sturdiness of a mountain, basically bringing the whole place, the whole location, the, the universe into balance where he is buried. So all the elements are in harmony together. So. It took us a good hour to make this hike. Mm. Back when my great grandfather died, right. uh, what must have his funeral procession been like? The procession was a long, was a long one. So you had the coffin, you had in front of the coffin, there would usually be uh, a priest or a monk. And then the actual procession, the people, the family, they would walk behind it. It would be an extremely long line of beautifully, because they're dressed in white. White is the color of mourning. So white uh, dressed people going along, moving along the hills solemnly, slowly. And then Sounds like here. quite a, quite a procession. Yes. Quite a production. So to the right, it looks like a mini grave. It's not a grave though, it's where the guardian of the grave of your great grandfather sits. The guardian in this case is Tu Di. That's what it says. That's what it says. Tu Di, Di as in earth? Right. So the actual, it refers to the god of the earth, the deity of the earth. So he's keeping watch on my great grandfather's He guards your great grandfather's grave. He's taking care that everything stays in place and your great grandfather has a peaceful rest. And the history of worshipping the, the god of the earth goes back many thousands of years, even before the whole concept of a one China existed. So people used to pray towards the, the god of the earth for, for harvests or in times of drought or famine. These days, you, you actually get more and more people bringing him back, but it's usually more to do with wealth and give me a good job rather than give me a good harvest. Or after the, the actual burying, the clan would, as part of the whole ceremony, would actually turn to Todi to, to thank uh, the, the god of the earth for providing this resting place and to pray that he will uh, stay guard, uh, keep guard for your, uh, your great-grandfather. 